Well, welcome back, Air Gunners. This is Zach from the Shooter Zone, where we are always staying on target. All right, well, we've had uh, a lot of storms here lately. We're kind of moving into storm season here in Southwest Virginia. But uh, it's not supposed to rain till later, so hopefully that's the case. Decided to get the uh, Day State Huntsman Rivera back out again in 22 caliber and just put some shots through it. I got a brand new little one inch gong uh, the other day. I ordered a handful of them off of Amazon and uh, I thought I'd add that to the group of gongs I have out there at 40 yards which is the center one is a four inch gong that's usually something I use for large caliber then on the right hand side to that is a two inch gong on the left hand side is the one inch gong and that's what we're going to be focusing on today all right so this is what we're going to do and this is just a Let's shoot at the one inch gong kind of thing. We're going to use the JSB 18s on this, just so everybody knows. And we're going to put, uh, let's put 10 shots on it. Now, after every time I shoot it, the gong does swing around sometimes for a little while. I'll try to speed up in between shots if the gong is really swinging around, and uh, that'll hopefully shorten it up a little bit more. On top, we have the Axion 4 to 16 scope, 50 millimeter. And at the end, we have the, uh, uh, we have a inexpensive little uh, moderator on there from Buck Rail. Now, you may say to yourself, well, why would you put on such an inexpensive moderator on, you know, such a beautiful rifle as this? You know, the fact is, if it works, it works. Um, the smaller caliber stuff, I, I think, you know, you could use a lot of different stuff. Again, these are 3D printed, so keep that in mind. Um, though it does have metal insert for the threads. On some of the larger caliber stuff, though, 3D printing, I don't know if it holds up to the power of the larger caliber. So I feel very comfortable, obviously, using these on 22. I've used them for quite a while now, and uh, it works fine on this. So there we go. All right, we're going to put 10 shots, 40 yards, one inch gong. Let's get started. Also using the single shot tray, as you see. Got the pellet in backwards.
Hopefully you were counting. I think that was seven. We do have some wind gusts here. So we'll try to work around that a little bit. Again, I'm assuming we, we shot seven. So this will be number eight. That one dropped a little bit low. Again, the wind was just dying down when I was shooting that. But it's a hit. And again, we're calling this number 10. All right, there we go. 10 shots, all on that little one inch gong at 40 yards. Uh, this thing is a great shooter and obviously capable of much farther distances than 40 yards but that's what we shoot here on angels rest range which is my home range here up on angels rest mountain and um that should give you a good idea again i've done two other videos on this so if you wanted to look at more of the specifics you can go back and look at those past videos but uh again if you're thinking about getting this it, it's a fantastic rifle um i think both for hunting purposes and um, and for target purposes for sure to 50 yards and uh, again I think I think you would do very well um, doing either of those using the right pellets and again I'm not even sorting the pellets that you see this I'm pulling them right out of the tin so if some of the skirts were a little bit you know off or the weight was just a little bit off from one from the other uh, we're still able to really put almost pellet on pellet out there. And so that'll give you, again, an, an excellent idea of how this thing works. If we were to sort them, um, obviously the groups would even be tighter than that. But uh, anyways, there you go. So if you haven't liked this page yet, please click below and like this page. Um, we also started a couple Facebook pages. My main page, which has been out for a few years, is The Shooter Zone. That's on Facebook. And then also we have a brand new Brocock Daystate USA Facebook page. So uh, I'll put links below. If you open it up, it'll, it'll give you the links for both of those. And I think that's all I have for you today. So till next time, shoot lots, be safe, and we will see you again soon. Take care now.